So you recently got a new iPad and you're trying to figure out how you can use it to be more productive. Don't worry, your girl got you. So meet my assistant, my iPad. My iPad is my go-to for everything and I take it everywhere. Did you keep me together? And she keeps your girl structured. Hey friend, welcome back if you're a returning subscriber. And if you're new here, welcome. I'm Jean Marie and here on my channel, I talk about all things digital planning and productivity. And every now and then I'm getting into my gadget. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button if that's your vibe. In today's video, I'm switching it up a little and trying something new. By focusing today's video on increasing productivity using an iPad. This video was requested by Barsons31. I hope this video helps you customize your iPad with an aesthetic that elevates your beautiful vibe and increases your productivity. And if you're someone who recently got a new iPad and you wanna elevate it to another level, then this video is also for you. I began by planning out my focus modes in the Freeform app that comes on the iPad. And here's where I brainstormed what aspects in my life require me to create increased focus and reduce as many distractions as possible. I created my focus modes based on certain weekly and daily routines that I already had in place. And here are a list of my current focus modes. Then I created a little like mini vision board of the mood slash atmosphere I wanted to embody for each focus mode. For example, on my weekly Sunday planning routines, the vibe that I like to create for that time is like comfy with luck self-care. So after I planned out the vibe that I wanted for each focus mode, I then went over to Pinterest and I downloaded images that reflect the vibe that I wanted to create for each focus mode. So once I was done downloading all the images and quotes that I needed, next what you do is you go into settings and then you scroll down to wallpaper. And this is the easiest way that I find to add the wallpaper to the home and lock screen. So what do you do? You just go ahead and click on add new wallpaper. I've already added all my wallpapers are all already in here. Click on add new wallpaper, or you can just scroll all the way to the right and you'll get the plus sign. And then you'll go ahead and click on that plus sign and it'll bring up this box. And then you click on photos and it may be on a certain album. So you just click on all right here, mine is on featured and it's only showing one image. But if you go ahead and click on all, then you'll see all your images and then you can go ahead and click which one you want to add or your lock screen and or home screen. And you will just go ahead and do that again, add all the wallpapers all at once. That's how I find it easier to do is just add them all at once for each focus mode that you want to set a different wallpaper for. Once you're done adding your wallpapers, next we are going to want to create the focus modes. From settings, we're going to scroll down and click on focus, then click on the plus sign in the right upper corner. And these are a few presets that they give you, but we're just going to create our own from scratch and click on custom. Now you can name your focus and this is going to be my planning focus. And you can also just select the color, anything that goes with your vibe or what you're looking for. And they have a few icons, they are limited. So you'll see me come back later and add an emoji instead. So go ahead and click next. And these are a few of the settings that they set for you or that already come in the focus. You could just read through these and click customize focus. And this is going to be the hub for that focus. So I have, let's see, I have one, two, three, four focuses. I need to create one more. So click the plus sign, click custom, name the focus, and this is going to be my budgeting focus. So go ahead and name it, select a color, green for money, then an icon and hit next. Click customize and then back up out of here. And these are all the focuses that I have. So now you're just going to see me go back and add some emojis, like I said earlier, because I really don't like any of these icons that they have. So the only one that I guess I kind of like was the pencil because it kind of does go with planning and stuff, but I am going to add some emojis just for the fun of things. Next, we're gonna set the settings for each focus mode. So click on a focus and then click on the three dots to the right, then click on settings. In here, you can set what notifications will be allowed from certain people. You can either allow or you can silence notifications from all or only a few contacts in your list. And then you can go into what apps you want to be silenced and which ones you wanna allow notifications to come through. I'm going to add some apps 
apps that I need and use during this specific focus time. And once you're done with that, you're gonna come out of there and click on options. And here is where we're gonna set the preferences for the focus. You can have your notifications show on lock screen, which I do not, or you can have high notification badges, silence notifications, or even dim the lock screen. As you'll notice, I do not want any of my silence notifications to show on my lock screen because I want to eliminate any distractions as much as possible. I don't want to get sidetracked if I see a notification and I'm like, oh, what's that? Let me go check it. And now we're going to go set lock screens. So unlock your screen, but do not swipe up to the homepage and then long press. And this is going to open up the edit mode where we can go ahead and add our wallpapers to our lock screens and home screens. So remember, we did add all these wallpapers previously. So they should be here. So go ahead and swipe to which wallpaper you want to set for whichever particular focus mode you're creating at the time. This is my creative mode. So I am using this one because it's, I just love the colors, vibrant creativity. So now this is the option where you can set the same image for the home page. So I do want to use the same image for the home page as well as the lock screen. So now we're gonna set one more and this is gonna be for my home focus mode. So go ahead and click on focus, home. Then you click on customize. It's also gonna ask you if you wanna do both the home and lock screen. So yes, I want the same image for my home screen as well. So next I'm gonna create my budgeting focus. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on focus, select budgeting, then come out of there and click on customize. And I do wanna use this image as my home screen. So I'm gonna select done. This one is going to be for my two hour deep focus. So I'm going to go ahead and select this one, set it as my focus, and then set the home screen image, which is going to be a different image from this one. And the way that you set a different image for your home screen is at the bottom, you'll see the option for photo. You just go ahead and click on that and it will bring up the dialog box for you to select which image you want to use for your home screen. So now I'm going to create shortcuts for all my focus modes and have it off to the side over here. So I can just swipe to the left and change my focus modes to whatever focuses I want at that time. So let's go into the shortcuts app. And these are my iPad favorites shortcuts. So I'm going to click on the plus sign. And for focus modes, that will be under controls. So go to controls and set focus. The widget that I have only holds four focus modes and I primarily have five, but um, so we're gonna do turn, this is since we're doing creative, turn creative on until turned off. If I was at a specific location, say for instance, if I was at a Starbucks or something, I could put until I leave from a specific location or if you have an office or um, you work out of the house, you can put once I leave this location, it will automatically turn off that focus mode. But I'm going to put turn um, turn creative on until turned off. And then you can press play to run that automation. It did it because, you know, creative mode is already on on my iPad. So, so you can rename it and I just rename it to the name of the focus mode. And next we're going to do my home. So we're going to add another shortcut. We're going to go back to the controls, set focus, turn home on until turned off. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to rename that. And you can go ahead and run that and you see that it actually ran that shortcut. So we're going to go back out. We're going to add now my budgeting or my planning focus. So now we have shortcuts for all five focus modes that I primarily use the most. So from the home screen, I just swipe over and this is the widget that I'm using for my four shortcuts. So all I have to do is I will long press on it and edit widget. And now I can go into which folder for my shortcuts. So it says all shortcuts. I actually don't want that. I want my iPad favorites. It's in that folder. And as you see, I have my budgeting focus, planning focus, home focus, and my two hour deep focus mode. I want to add another shortcut. 
for my fifth focus mode and I can only add this one widget. So I'm going to add that. And this one though is I'm gonna make it custom so I can choose which widgets I want in there. And I'm going to go ahead and shortcuts, there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and add my creative focus. And then I'm going to also add the remainder of my iPad favorite shortcuts, which are switching to switching on my AirPods, and that's my AirPod Pros, and then my ear, my regular AirPods, and then one more, and then FaceTime my husband. There we go. So now I have a smart stack with shortcuts for all my focus modes, and then a couple of um, devices that I want to connect to easily. Okay, so now we're done with that. And I always on every home screen or every focus mode, I always make sure that I have the battery widget, whether it's over here or on the main home screen because I like to I like to be aware of when my um, my battery life for both my iPad and my Apple Pencil because I use this thing all the time and I hate when it's at a moment when I need it the most that it's dying. So I like to just make sure I put it up there and charge whenever I'm not using it. So now we're going to go ahead and design the home screen for my planning focus. This is one of my home screens, but I want to do a completely different home screen for the planning focus. I only like to have one home screen. I don't like to have multiple home screens to where you can swipe and it just keeps going on. I like one home screen and then I like my app library. So what I'm going to do is I am going to long press and then I'm going to tap these dots down here and I am I only want to show one home screen. This is the one I'm going to customize for the planning focus. So now that I only have one selected, so now you see it's the one home page and then the app library. So right now I have a blank canvas. So let's go ahead and see what I can do. The app that I like to use is called Ice Screen. That's where I create my widgets for like my photos and my clocks and calendars and stuff. I create all of that in Ice Screen. They do have a free version, but I do have the paid version because I liked the app so much. So now I basically need to go back and go to Freeform and this is my planning focus. So I need to remember which apps I, you know, documented that I needed for my planning focus. Because remember, I brainstormed and I planned it out. Weekly planning slash, you know, the vibe that I'm going for for this was the self-care, you know, like luxury vibe. So I do say, I did say that I needed my Google Calendar widget, my reminders, my Notion. I should have wrote these down on a sticky. I'm going to start with my apps and widgets first, and then I'm going to go into ice cream. So now we're going to go back out and I'm going to go to the my one home screen. I said I needed Google Calendar, so we're gonna long press on an open space and hit edit and add widget. So I need my Google Calendar and I like the big one. I like this one with the actual dates. And then I also need, I need my Notion widget and I probably need a couple Notion widgets because I want to have certain pages and I'll probably speed this up until I get to like the eye screen part. At this point right here, I'm just adding the Apple widgets and then I'll come back when I start customizing more with the iScreen. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to go into ice cream and I'm just going to try to fill in with a couple of widgets, maybe some images. They're always adding new stuff. They have like really cute stuff. So let's see, but this is my planning focus. So I want it to be, you know, like we said, the self-care luxury, the luxury self-care vibe, chill, relax. And I think I want a large image. So image photo, we're gonna go large. Let's see if they got large, a large square. Yes, they do. I want the Chanel sign and save that to my widgets. And then I want to do another photo. Now I'm just gonna add a couple of the images that I did download from Pinterest for this focus. This was one, grab another large one. And then you have the options in here, whether when you click on the widget or the image, do you want it to come into iScreen so you can edit it or you want no action at all. I like to do no operation. So when you click on it, nothing happens. So hit okay. Then I save it to my widgets. Okay, so now that's three images that I have. I'm gonna come back and do one more small one. And um, then I'm gonna probably do like a clock or something. This one, I'll probably make it rotate between some images. If you, you can add more than one image and it'll rotate. So we're gonna do that. 
and then I want the auto slow to rotate. Since I'm in there, I want it to rotate every five minutes. Done. Enter widget editing page. I do not want any action. Or you can even, for this one, since I have more than one image, you can have the action be where it'll toggle the photo. Let's toggle the photo. Okay. And then you save to my widgets. So now I'm just adding a quick little calendar widget and I made the background transparent because I want it to blend in with the home screen. So now I'll just save this to my widgets. So now I'm gonna go back to my home screen and just see what we have thus far. So long press and just going to add a widget. We're gonna add the ice cream widgets. Then I'm gonna add another ice cream large image widget. And then I want to add the ice cream small. So I want two small images. So let's go in and set this widget. So this could be my Bible scripture. Love that. This can be one of the photos. I want this to be the calendar. See, you see how it blends in? Like the background is, tra is transparent. And then this one, I want to be a large photo, the Chanel sign. And then this one we are going to do, okay. There we go. I need something else black right here. Okay, so pretty much what I did was to finish up, I went ahead and added a flip book and then I also edited the, the theme color. I went with a dark tinted theme instead. And how you do that is you just, you know, pretty much do what you always do. Long press on an open space, hit edit, and then you're gonna hit customize. And then it's gonna bring up this dialog box. And what I did was I just hit tinted or you can hit dark. But if you feel like the background is too dark for you, what you can go ahead and do is just hit the light sign. See how it made it darker? and it made it lighter. So I was, you know, I pretty much, I like the black and white look. It looks nice and sleek and luxury to me, which is what I was going for, for this focus mode. And these as well also toggle, and this will toggle to a new picture every time I touch it. And that's what we did in the ice cream. We set that up earlier. So I am actually really pleased with how this turned out. So this is the portrait mode set up for this um, focus mode on the iPad. Now, what do you want to do is, if you use your iPad in both portrait mode and landscape, you're going to want to set your orientation for the apps in horizontal mode as well. And all you have to do is you just take the iPad and then turn it to the horizontal position and go ahead and maneuver and move your apps to where you want them to go. Right now, I am content with how this looks in horizontal mode. So once you customize the apps in this orientation, every time you switch it from portrait to horizontal, the apps are going to rearrange to the position that you originally set them to. I have my planner shortcuts down here in the dock. I have one to my daily planner and then one to my budget planner. So basically if I was to click on my daily planner, it will open right up to the last page that I was on in that planner. If you guys are interested in seeing how I created the shortcuts to my individual planners, go ahead and leave that in the comments and I'll create that video for you guys. But I am pleased with how this came out. Okay, so that's it for today's video. And before you leave, be sure to head down to the description box below. I have a link to a free weekly digital planner that I think you ladies will love. I hope I was at least able to help you understand how you can use your iPad to be more productive on a daily basis. So now you go ahead and take your new assistant and go out there and be great.